Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and you guys, today we have such an intriguing new palette. I'm so interested. This is the, well, this is the Unicarton. Where did I put the actual, oh, it's down here, okay. This is the new Starlet palette. We're off to a smashing start. Uh, the new Starlet palette from Makeup Forever. Now, what is so intriguing about these is, first of all, let's start off with just a little info from the Sephora website, and then we're gonna kinda dive into what I think about it. This palette is $45. It has six shades, which I have swatched right here. I, of course, will give you the close-up here in a second, but it is $45, six shades that are .038 ounces, which, in my opinion, if it's only going to have six shades, I feel like those are pretty small pan sizes, considering, you know, kind of what you're getting and what you're paying for and whatnot. Um, but again, we'll get into that a little bit later. It says that this is a limited edition eyeshadow palette with a breakthrough glitter formula and uh, ranging in different tones, blah, blah, blah. Nobody cares. This is what's interesting, though. It says, make your eyes pop with the next generation of glitters. As the newest innovation of the iconic starlit family, these glitters catch the light for an intense sparkling effect like any other, which, unlike any other, which is a, a good point to make. Um... These smooth, creamy, ultra glitter eyeshadows apply easily and are fallout free. The unique formula allows you to apply the glitter directly to your fingers or a brush with intense color payoff. These duochrome shades may be worn alone or for singular imp or for singular impact or layered in endless ways to create multiple looks with just one palette. So okay, the first thing I'm going to say is that the formula and the texture of these reminds me so much of a ColourPop Super Shock shadow, which I don't know how loud this is going to be on camera and I apologize but ugh, there we go these ones right here that are in like these little containers are super um they they have li like literally they feel exactly the same like that same really silky but really nice color payoff they're beautiful shades but they have that exact same like slip and feel as a color pop um super shock shadow I think that's what these are called right yeah super shock shadow um but it does feel exactly like that however um these are in a very tight container for a reason they dry out this is in a standard palette. That first off like made me very apprehensive. Um, now we can definitely talk about how this is really nice. I think it's a beautiful design. It's decently weighted. It's not like, in my opinion, it's not $45 worth of packaging by any means, but you do get a full pan sized mirror or almost full. You flip it over and these are your six shades. Now what I will say is that um, the, in my opinion, the swatches and the pans on the internet do not do it justice. I feel like these are a lot more beautiful in real life than they appear like, you know, on camera or even, even like the swatches they had online. I was like, this looks way prettier than what it did on there. So a couple things. One, I do think it's very similar to a ColourPop formula as far as feel goes. Can't speak for how they wear. Obviously they are not on my eyes yet. Um, I am in intrigued. There's a couple shades in here that definitely speak more to me than others, and we can kind of get into that after you have seen them up close. So why don't we go ahead, do the up close, and then we will talk a little bit more, because you all know how I love to talk. Yes, queen! First up, we have Reflection Prism, which is like a duochrome brown, Spark, Flame, Flicker, and Beam. So that right there is the entire palette leave you guys at least a little bit zoomed in and let it kind of remember that I have color. Um, so the first thing that I want to note about these is that there were a couple that when I was swatching them, before I read any of the information with them, I thought, wow, are these just toppers? Like, because these three over here seemed so light, especially these two, in pigment. They just seemed like really light colors. And I thought, okay, like, maybe this one is supposed to be more of a transformative, whatever you put it on, it's a dual chrome shift kind of thing. And then I kept swatching and I went, wow, okay, so these ones over here are just a lot more pigmented. They just seem a lot thicker. They seem like a, where a shimmer meets a glitter, like a pigment meets a glitter, they kind of have that look and appeal to them. Very shiny, very luxe, very smooth. All, every single one of these, super, super creamy, smooth in application, fabulous in that respect. They did not feel like chunky or weird or anything like that, which is awesome. So what I'm really intrigued with by this palette is how it has a lot of diversity in it, but also a lot of similarities all in one 
one spot. I feel like the only thing if I would have changed or added or done anything to this palette, the only thing I think I would have changed is incorporating either like a green or a blue, just so there was a little bit more from the, you know, that part of the spectrum represented, because I feel like, you know, you get like a duochrome kind of brown here, you get like a copper, then you get like another brown, you know, I feel like there's a couple of those, we probably could have traded one out, but with that being said, I do love these colors, they all speak to me, they are beautiful, and I'm definitely intrigued. Now, one thing I do want to, like, kind of take a look at while we're playing with them today is I want to see how they look, obviously, like, layered up on my lid, and then I want to take one of them and, like, pop it on top of another one just to see how they layer with each other. Obviously, we're not there yet, so we're going to go ahead and kind of get started there, but just so you guys know... I definitely have every intention of doing that. I have already primed and prepped my lids, and I think that today, you guys, we're going to go in with the Morphe Dare to Create palette, which is huge. Um, I wasn't going to go in with this one, but I feel like, you know, lately I've been reviewing so many palettes, and I don't often get to go back on camera, so I'm really trying to, like, mix up what you guys see. I don't want to be one of those people that, like, always uses the same freaking camera, because it's, or camera. <laughs> I do want to use the same camera. I don't, however, want to use the same freaking palette over and over again because that's really freaking frustrating so we're not going to um, all right so let's go ahead I'm just gonna grab my cheap little fluffy Milani brush here still don't know what it is it's just fluffy I got it for free with my last order and I really like it it's a really good crease brush you guys it's not always about having a ton of money um, sometimes it's just about getting a free brush because I really like this brush um, now I think that for the one I really really want like it, it spoke to me right from the minute I saw it was this duochrome all over the lid right here oh my god like I want that all over my lid so bad and I think I want to blend it out with some of the purpley pink shades in this palette there's like these three right here that I'm really really drawn to so I will probably speed this part of the video up just because this part isn't that important but if you're curious I will be reaching more than likely probably a crease color and then you know somewhere in this vicinity because I love these colors and I want to see if we can kind of manipulate the way that this duochrome looks because I think it's gorgeous so let's kind of get on into this get out my mirror yes 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 oh my god my skin my skin looks powdery because there is a lot of bait going on okay let's do this you guys before I pause and go in or before I pause I'm gonna pause and, uh, and before I go in with the darker colors by the way I just took that outer color there on a Wayne Goss number 18 brush which I stupidly have been I put darker color in it and now I'm gonna have to wash it I'm terrified to wash these brushes we'll get into that in a later video but I do want to stop right here because I know I'm gonna take that duochrome shade all over the lid so again this is the shade prism and I'm really, like, I'm so excited about this. So I'm thinking we're just going to, like, take and kind of pop it on. Ooh, that's gorgeous. What I really think is so interesting about these shades is that, okay, first of all, I am getting fallout, FYI. Um, it's not so much the whole shade, though. It's just the glitter. Like, that was one of the things I wanted to mention is that these are not... In my opinion, these are not a straight duochrome. These are a duochrome and glitter mixture, um, which I think, like, by definition... <laughs> I, I don't know how to explain this in a way that it makes sense in my brain, but I would never look at these and be like, oh, it's just duochrome. Because I feel like when it shifts and it's a solid pigment, it's duochrome. Chrome. When it shifts and it has glitter in it, it's not just the pigment shifting. It's glitter, and glitter naturally has that, like, glistening effect to it. So, I don't know, but it is beautiful, but for some reason I think it's looking so much more beautiful, like, on my finger than it is on my eye at the moment. I definitely like the layered up look though. That's really pretty. 
I want to go ahead and I think I do want to pop that one prism color, the super, super light white one in the dead center just to see what it looks like. But that's that's pretty nice, actually. And I like it because it's really subtle, but like you get your own little moment with it. So I'm going to take the shade Reflection, which is, oh my god, this is the shade that I literally like I'm obsessed with and for and everything in between. Oh, my sweet baby Jesus. You'd look at it and think like, oh, you're not that impressive. And then it's just like, I'm sorry, what'd you say about me? Boom. And it's gorgeous. The only thing that I'm not living for is like, I don't know, I kind of felt like that white shade, I was hoping it would pop a little bit more. I think it would pop better like if it was on top of just a straight like normal pigment shadow or a normal press shadow. I think it would pop a little bit better, but that still is really stinking pretty and they're super easy to like work with and to blend out and just to use in general they are so easy like i love a good easy shadow that you can just like slap on your face even use your fingers you guys know this is my favorite and i love that it's just like easy and accessible and you don't have to be like super fancy or really precise like it's just it's just easy which is nice um i am really intrigued with one other thing and I want to see, I really just want to see how many of these I can cram on my face. This dark purple, I just want to see, like, how does she look layered on the outside here? Okay, you can't hardly even tell she's there. Well, I guess you can a little bit. But she's got, like, these weird dark, like, glitter to her. I don't know. See, I think my thing is, I don't, e I don't like these, these so much when they're blended, like, on top of themselves. I like them blended better on top of like on just a straight pigment. Because I think it looks pretty, but I don't think that it's like being all that she can be. I definitely think that they excel and that they really draw out more when they're just on top of cuz like over here where I put that purple and it was just on top of that pink pigment or that pink powder. Why do I keep saying pigment? That pink eyeshadow, it looks so beautiful and I think that that's where these are really going to shine. Overall, though, I mean, not not ugly, not complaining, kind of gorgeous, you know? And it was, again, it's so easy to use. Now, I do need to go back in, obviously, and need to do some blending, Lucy, on that outer V situation. So I think all I'm going to do, this is a Wayne Goss number 3 brush. It has a little bit of a point to it. I'm going to go in with the darker maroon and purple shades, mix them together from that Dare to Create palette. And I'm just going to go in and kind of lightly place and buff them into this area. Just kind of reclaim my crease area a little bit. Otherwise, my eyes tend to be a little too hooded for life. But if I fix my crease, it makes it look a little bit more like, oh, this girl has an eye socket. When really, we both know I don't. You guys, just because I have to, I'm going to take some of that purple shade, and I really want to try to run that on my lower lash line a little bit. Nothing like super duper fancy. That's a really cute look. Ah! That is so smooth on the lower lash line. Like, I can't even. What I really like about it, too, is a lot of times when you want to put anything with, like, glitter or even texture on your lower lash line, a lot of times you'll have an issue with, like, it wanting to get sucked into your eye. And for some reason, I don't have that issue with this. It just, like, it really naturally, you know what, maybe I'll try that with a, with a smudger brush. But it really naturally just kind of, like, sits down. It doesn't, like, try to go all over the place. But as you can see, and I don't know how well it's going to pick up on camera, I do have some glitter fallout happening. Again, I'm not complaining about it. These were super easy to use and blend. And they worked really nicely. They blended out really beautifully. I'm just being in full disclosure mode. And you guys, I'm going to go ahead, pop off, do this eye off of camera, do the rest of my face makeup, and I will be right back. All right, guys, so I went ahead. I feel like I look crazy on camera right now, and I'm not sure why. But anyways, I went ahead and I got the rest of my face on. I think it's because for some reason the exposure is off. 
like it like the exposure like the the color of my skin is off anyways none of that matters you guys I went ahead and I finished up the rest of my face and while I was doing this I kind of had a couple of thoughts first of all I want to mention real quick what is on my lips I went in with the Marc Jacobs perfect uh, little cat cat lipstick what I don't know it was on Sephora like three four months ago I don't even know if it's still there but it's just a really pretty nude and then I went over it with a buxom gloss Honestly, any like nude tone gloss, a MAC lip gloss, anything like that would work. But just like a really super chill nude combo is what I was going for. I just, I don't know, I wasn't feeling like a bright lipstick today and I felt like these eyes were so bright on their own. Now the one thing I do want to say about this palette is that it is super versatile. I feel like when I originally swatched it and when I originally started working with it, I thought like, eh, okay, I feel really limited by it because the colors, they're a little limiting or maybe they come off a certain way or maybe it's a little too, you know, and I can definitely see that perspective, but at the same time, I kept thinking, I actually, maybe there's a ton of ways that you could use this, and I think what I like about this palette wow that was loud <laughs> I think what I like about this palette is I feel like it bridges a gap for a lot of people between glitzy glammy and like a really normal everyday kind of eye a lot of people mentioned to me even people that I know like in real life quote unquote um, they say like wow you know I'm really like I don't branch out into crazy things I don't get into glitters you know I like just a really basic eye and I feel like these are a really interesting transition point to bridge that gap I feel like they would work nicely if you're like oh I I'm used to really only doing like a little bit of brown in my crease. Well, all of a sudden you could take, you know, this shade right here, pop it on your whole lid, and it really is going to give you like a bam kind of impact, but it's not going to push you so far out of your comfort zone that you're like, oh God, who am I? Which is a really nice touch. Now, I also think that this is a really nice complimenting palette that you could use if you are like on the other side of the spectrum and you really like to have pops and like really vivacious looking things on your eyes, because I feel like it, these are good transformative shadows to put over top of a regular shadow. Now, based on, and I've looked at mine for the like the last hour now, um, okay, not an hour, probably like a half hour to 45 minutes, and I kept waiting to see, you know, are they gonna fall out, are they gonna ball up, is it gonna look funny, and the one thing I was so impressed with with these is that they are staying on my lids so beautifully. That was with me putting powder over top and blending out the outer crease. That was with me, you know, dragging through the crease even a little bit, and everything stayed really, really nicely, and they, they cling really nicely to themselves and to other shadows, which is a huge plus. Now, do I think that they lay up, lay up, <laughs> lay up like basketball do I think that they layer up that beautiful on top of themselves no I feel like they're a little bit lackluster like they are beautiful but I do think that where these truly are like stackable if you will is on top of other colors because I think that that really allows the glitter and the pigment in them to really shift and move and look beautiful but I mean with everything considered I do think that they are stunning now you guys know I'm a realist. This is a $45 palette. I'm not going to sit here and tell you I think you need, need, need this palette in your life. I do think that if you're really drawn to this idea, this concept, um, the the feel of these, if you go to like a Sephora, a Sephora, <laughs> apparently that was a really hard word, but if you go in and you like swatch them and you're like, wow, I really, really love these, I do think, you guys, my hair, I don't even know what it's doing right now. I do think that you would be able to get these or very similar to these in ColourPop Super Shock Shadows um, and you know, for a much more affordable price. But you could hunt around on their website and see if there's anything similar that you like. Again, the only downside is that you won't know until you get it if it's what you really, if it's what you wanted. Um, but you guys, overall, I do think that the palette is actually really nice. I think the quality is definitely there. Um, and I really, really like these shadows. I can see these being a really good easy breezy kind of pop on go situation which is always really nice i will say for me and this eye look it did not take long at all to use them apply them i mean honestly they're just really quick and easy to use which is a great um asset to anybody that loves makeup i can't guarantee that if you're like a makeup connoisseur collector like what i am if this is so much for you and oh that's the other thing i wanted to mention too i feel like my videos and i say this a lot but my videos are different than a lot of videos you're gonna find on youtube so if you're new here um you're probably like, why does this girl talk so much and give us every single detail? One of the things I really pride myself on with my channel is being able to give 
as much information as humanly possible. Like, I want you guys to literally know every single thing about this palette that I can possibly think of that would help you make a more informed decision on if you would like it or not, if it's worth your money or not, if I think it's quality or not. And that's one of the reasons that my my channel is a little bit different than a lot of others. A lot of other people, they just try it and they're like, oh, well, I get free stuff from them, so sure, it's great or whatever. And I just, I always have your guys' money in mind when I do a review and when I, you know, know say things and I I've also been trying to take your time into account as well and you know make my videos a little shorter you'll notice that in the last couple I've tried to do like one eye and then the other eye off of camera that seems to be going really really well which is nice so just so you guys know I am listening to you I'm trying to kind of make arrangements and do things differently as I can and as I can make changes so just so you guys know you are always at the forefront of my mind and um, I hope that you guys have a great day night weekend whatever it is when you're watching this please don't forget to comment like subscribe down below and find my social media handles in the box because it's awesome and I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye. Do, 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 do. All the glitter, all the glitter. It's kind of magical, not gonna lie. Okay guys, side note, I just went off camera and went to take my thumbnails and I feel like right here it looks so unblended. Does it look unblended on camera? Because I literally have went back and like blended that area like 10 times and it just looks so unblended. And like no matter what I do, it just looks unblended. And it only looks like that on camera. In real life, it looks gorgeous. It's like a really nice like soft subtle pink gradient. Does it look like that? Like don't you see how harsh it looks? But like in real life, there's just such a beautiful fade. And like hello fade, why are you not picking up on camera? Is it because you are just so beautiful? I just like had the hiccups. Oh, please don't have the hiccups. Sweet baby Jesus, deliver me. Okay, I just wanted to know if it was on camera or not. So you guys can all let me know in the comments. My hair is crazy. And side note, my shirt today. Oh, there went my mirror. Oh, and there went my life. Okay, great. Awesome. But you guys, my shirt today, it says, nope, not today. I wanted it to say not today, Satan. Like, nope, not today, Satan. But it doesn't. It only says not today. But I just had to share that with you. See what you thought about my unblended eyes and how weird, like, exposed I look on camera. Like, doesn't my face look kind of funny? I think my skin looks really nice, but, like, I don't know. For some reason, I feel like I'm in the wrong color. Anyways, for real, goodbye this time, you guys. Sometimes I'm weird. You're just going to have to deal. I'm sorry. Welcome to my channel.